Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. Hello, I would like to welcome you. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to this channel and enjoy my video tutorials. So today I decided to paint another landscape with some uh, lake and some uh, rock so this will be all about nature and again I'll be linking in the description box below the reference image for this painting tutorial I actually cropped the image um, uh, crop the image so that only that portion will be paint only a certain portion will be painted today not the whole picture that I saw from uh, Pexels I think I remember or Pixabay uh, I'll just link it down below so the colors that we'll be using for today are only um, uh, what six we're only using six colors today and all of them I suppose are very familiar to most of you so here are the colors we have titanium white I always use a fairly large amount of titanium white every single time we have black pale blue sap green mid yellow or cadmium yellow and then we have orange so let's begin now i'm gonna sketch for the subject as you can see here my canvas is square the size is um this is 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters or 15 and 3 fourths by 15 and 3 fourths inches um canvas this is actually again the back of the canvas pad paper that i bought i kind of like the back um the last page because it's sturdy and yeah i think the surface is good for tutorial purposes so i'm gonna sketch first the subject and for the sketch part i'll be using i think i'll be using some blue color so i'm just gonna get my phthalo blue doesn't really matter what color you use for sketching because basically the sketch will be painted over so let's begin now i'm gonna define where the horizon is and it's in the middle part So that's basically the horizon and everything else will be either the background or the foreground so we're going to start first with drawing some background mountains I'll still use my blue color on my paintbrush and I'm just gonna show you that the mountains um, I mean I'm gonna show you the location of the mountains and the shape of the mountains as well you can always change the shape of the mountain based on your preference all right so that's that's basically the shape of the mountain in the background and then everything else will be the sky and the water but along the water we will be along the water is that even a phrase the correct phrase i mean some portion in the water we will be showing some plants which i think will frame the painting so yeah so i think this is enough for now sketching because we will be painting over it anyway for the underpainting so i will not do the other sketches uh, just yet because um, we will go back to it later after the underpainting is done so I'm gonna underpaint first the water and I think the underpainting for the water I think it's a little bit of blue and black and then white I'm not sure but I think this is the safest underpainting that I can choose for this um, Okay, wait guys my I don't know why mm. all right I'm just checking my phone <laughs> because I just got a notification uh, about something so anyway so this will be the color that I will be using for the water As you can see here, I'm using or I'm doing a horizontal um, brush strokes. I 
I think gray is the safest color for this one. And in our case, we're using some blue grays. A huge part of the water uh, will be covered with foliage later. So don't you worry too much if you don't like the underpainting for the water. It will be covered with paints anyway later. But the purpose of underpainting it is to give sense to what we're doing. So first we're doing the water, later we'll be doing the rocks. And you know, even if we're under we're just underpainting it the colors are gonna show through the canvas later you may not really notice it but the effect is there i'll be using a little darker color down here Actually, this side will not matter that much because we will be painting some rocks later. That's why my brush strokes are not that horizontal. But I keep the middle portion in horizontal brush strokes. Okay, that's the underpainting for the water. And now we're going to do the sky before we proceed to doing more details in the water. So for the sky, I'm just gonna wash my brush out and then we're going to get some blue, of course, and then white. Okay, make sure it's more white than blue. And then I'm going to add tiny bit, this tiny bit of a sap green, right? Just to make the sky a little greenish. And then a little bit of yellow. Okay. But as you can see here, it's more bluish greenish, right? You can see yellow, you can see blue. I'm going to use this to color the sky. I'm going to add tiny bit of blue right here we're painting the sunset i mean a sunset scene that's why there will be some yellows and oranges and oranges and greens and turquoise colors so you can be random here because um we'll be doing some clouds and later we'll be doing some orange um orange skies which is my favorite sunset all right from here as you can see it's quite random there's no pattern i'm just gonna get my orange okay i'm gonna add mid yellow and of course white to mute the color and then I'm gonna add tiny, tiny bit of black just to tone the tone down the color. And I'm gonna use this to um, color this side of the sky. I'm using a lot of water here because I want that uh, watercolor effect in the sky. I'm gonna use pure orange in some areas. Okay, I'm gonna water down again just to reach that that section where the colors meet right. 
right like that I'm gonna get my pure mid yellow okay I'm just gonna allow that first to stay there to linger it <laughs> to linger it there for a moment and I'm gonna get again some bluey gray colors right like that and then i'm just gonna allow that to dry of course i think it's good if i use the fingers in applying it all right now i'm gonna wash my brush out i'm gonna get some blue make sure that you wash it carefully because you don't want the yellows to mix with the blues we'll be doing some distant mountains i'm gonna get my phthalo blue and then black that's too black all right, more blue and then white. Okay, let's just adjust when necessary. So I'm gonna use a darker gray bluey color for this mountain. Actually, it's basically the same color, right? The underpainting for the water is basically the same, only that we added more black here. All right, like that. And then I'm gonna allow that for it to dry. Now I'm gonna make this mountain a little lighter. So by to, to do that, I'm just gonna add white. Oops, some orange is mixing. right like that and to make some more distant more distant mountains I'm just gonna add more white to the existing bluey gray color so I'm just gonna add white to this let's try to use it that Okay, and then I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black. To just outline the distant mountains. We're just gonna outline it. We're not going to use it as an underpainting. Like that. And then I'm going to outline the nearest mountains. And then also here. All 
All right, like that. Okay. So before we proceed to doing the waters, which is the most exciting part, we're going to create some distant trees. Okay. So for that, we'll be using a smaller brush. And I'll be using some sap green and black. So I'm going to get my sap and then my black. All right. And then just paint some vertical lines. I'm adding some hints of greens. And then some dark colors. So just use the colors of green, yellow, and black in doing some suggestive trees. Alternate. Switch from one color to another. You don't want it to be super green. You don't want it to be just black. Add some hints of colors uh, everywhere. So that it's not pure black because that would be not natural looking. And also the height of the trees should be a little different from each other. There should be variety because you don't want it to look like uh, a line of, I don't know, like just simple, a simple line which is very um, man-made because nature is quite random. All right. So I think that is good because we'll be painting over it anyway. Some areas will be covered. So let's just um, stick with these patterns, suggestive of trees. And I'm going to use my black to redefine the horizon line. Okay, now, okay, I'm going to get my small square brush. We're just going to make some light orangey color that we already have here. I'm going to add white, all right? I'm going to add tiny bit of black just to tone the color. And I'm going to use this gray orangey color um, right here. Just below the horizon line. Like that. All right, now I'm going to get my orange. And I'm just going to paint some horizontal lines here. Water down. All right, now I'm going to get my sap green. Get your sap, get your blue. And then get your white. Get some yellow. Maybe this color. And then I'm just going to paint this side with this color. Oops. You can see a lot of orange in there. 
Anyway, I already made a mistake, so we're just gonna correct that. All right, just continue. I didn't see that there was a bug running across the canvas. If uh, you're new to my channel and you don't know me uh, yet, I do have a lot of plants and I usually paint near my plants. That's why there are many bugs uh, <laughs> crawling usually. But I really don't mind uh, working with them. <laughs> All right. Okay, that is, um, we're still in the underpainting process. Now I'm going to get my black. Let's create the silhouette of the rock before we do the detailing. All right. There is some sort of rock. Just color it black. And we're going to allow this first to dry before we do some detailing on the rock. all right like that we're gonna allow that first to dry again get your black let's create more rocks that right like that so these are rocks guys Okay, now I'm going to wash my brush out. We're going to darken some areas in the water. I'm going to get my phthalo blue. And then white. Tiny bit of white. And black. I'm going to use this color. For this area. Some darker shades. Just try to be soft with your brush strokes. Um, just try to be gentle with it and treat it as your relaxing day. Okay. There's a small, oops. small rock right, like that and then I'm gonna use my black and green 
to color this area. This will be filled with foliage later, but we want to create depth and volume. So we're going to color it black. It's much, much easier for us. And of course, we're going to do the same thing right here. This is very preliminary to the foliage that we will be making later. Just allow the painting to dry before we do some detailing. All right, I think that's good. And here as well. that okay now let's allow the paint to dry first let's move back to where we started and that is the sky so I think I'm gonna use a cleaner brush okay cleaner brush and then I'm going to get my light blue color I'm just gonna apply it as if I'm glazing it with some glazing medium. Like that. Trying to connect the skies, the orange and the blues. Like that. And then I'm going to get some yellow and then white. I'm going to outline it using yellow, All right, like that. And I'm gonna mix this yellow with the orange color that we already have here. gonna get some yellows and then some blues All right. Okay. Oh, I like the sky. It's more natural looking, right? All right. I'm going to wash my brush out. Okay. I think I need more white. So I need more white. 
I'm gonna use that to emphasize some sun right here right here as well okay and then i'm gonna allow that first to dry or maybe not i'm just gonna go go for it i'm just gonna add yellow to emphasize its brightness All right, like that again using the orangey yellowy color let's move back to the waters add some orange Again, some orange here. All right, like that, and then I'm gonna wash my brush out. I'm going to get my blue again my blue and then we're going to add a white try to be soft guys as I was telling you earlier try to be soft I'm going to add a little of gray color that and also here okay some light orange color uh, as you can as you probably have noticed already I'm using the horizontal brush strokes I'm not doing any vertical lines here Let's go back to our greens and yellows. Let's try to double layer this area. All right wow we're not yet done we're not even halfway there guys i'm gonna get my black all right we're going to create some uh, reflections
All right. Now we're going to get our gray. So mix your black with some white. Let's create some details on the rocks. Okay, I'm gonna get some brownie color. You can use your burnt sienna, although I did not get my burnt sienna. I just mix my orange with black so that I create that brownie color. And then I'm gonna use that to apply randomly on the rocks. going to get some yellow green actually that's two yellow green we just want some hints of like molds forming on the rocks Alright, and we're going to dab on hints of greens and yellows on the reflections to be consistent with what is being reflected on. Like that. I'm gonna get my black. I'm gonna water it down and I'm gonna shade this mountain it's too light it's too light Also this side. I did not notice that it was just too light. my palette knife yes we'll be using our palette knife and I'm just gonna use the back of the palette knife dab it onto my white some colors are mixing but it's all right I don't mind we're painting nature anyway just to give a more um, roughness to the rocks okay now we're going to frame the painting we're going to add some leaves here and there so for that I'll be using my sap green and black we're just going to dab on some um,
So I change from yellow to yellow green so that we can um, we can show some variety in the shapes and colors of uh, these vines. Some bugs are doing a cameo. All right, now we're going to add some more foliage. So I'm just dabbing on to create that foliage effect. And then with the use of black, I'm going to create some um, stems and Trunks. I think we're we are at um, fifty five percent done.
adding some yellowy colors. Using some dark greens, going to, okay, I'm going to need some black. Going to create some uh, silhouette of grasses. I'll also add some greens. Okay, I said green, I did not say orange. I just had some orangey color. I think I'm gonna retain the orange. <laughs> Doesn't look bad. Okay, I'm gonna allow this first to dry. Kinda want to add more depth right here. I'm just going to add some vines.
Now I'm gonna get my orange, okay, and then white, and tiny bit of yellow, but more white, and then I'm gonna highlight some areas in the waters. I'm gonna get my greens I'm gonna add some brownie colors And reflection. Okay, I'm gonna add more foliage. I'm just gonna use a super dry round brush to, I'm gonna use the tip of this round brush to apply some foliage. I'm gonna dab onto my green. You can definitely use your sponge for this process. Or tooth, uh, I was supposed to say toothpick, uh, your, uh, I forgot, cotton buds. Apply some dark colors. And here. I'm gonna get my white. Okay, I'm gonna water down my white and apply it very softly. Remember to water down. Here. 
make the distant mountain a little grayish i didn't notice or i didn't realize they were a little bit um light Yep, that's much better. Actually, you can even go darker. I I went for so light colors during the underpainting. So I'm correcting it now. They should be a little darker. All right. Using my black. I'm just gonna go and okay black guys the white is mixing I'm just gonna go and add some more depth right here because I really want to frame that's why I crop the image I really want to frame the the painting the viewer i really want the image to be as if it's framed you know what i mean that's why we have those vines we have this side rocks and foliage and grasses so i think i need more yellow gonna mix that with the green and I just want to emphasize even more some green colors in the waters and I'm gonna add hints of green on the mountains these are simply hints of green we don't want to paint it green because again they're quite distant to be super detailed going to add more details on the rocks And I'm gonna make the reflection a little grayish, a little grayish more than black. All right, like this. Like that. Add some movement and depth. Then you can even correct those grasses because it got glazed over. I'm just highlighting the foliage right here you can also highlight it here also on the molds 
it's not foliage it's molds but I think it's also good to kind of highlight it to make it really really natural looking Add some yellowy colors. Again, I'm using water down white. And some grays. I'm using some gray color down here. Okay, like that kind of like it and then using some yellowy orange color Right, like that. We can actually feel the sunset now. Oh my gosh. Finally, it's making sense. Earlier, I was having doubts about the painting. But I kind of like it now. Okay. Some more orangey colors you can see. Alright. I'm gonna get my phthalo blue. I'm just gonna add some blueness to this area like more depth right. then some light blues
added some white so that it emphasizes the light. I think, okay, I'm going to make some, another mountain right here, like that. And I'm going to allow this first to dry, or maybe not, I'm just going to add white to make it more light. It's the most distant mountain. like that This is nice guys right this is nice so yeah I just go um, I will just um, fix this tree I can't even speak properly And more details. Add some water line. Like that. Yeah, I think this is good, guys. What do you think? Yeah, I think this is done. So I'm going to sign this now. And I'm just gonna use, actually, I should use, I'm just gonna use light blue since um, I have a lots of blue. And I think I'm gonna sign right here. Okay, so this is done, guys. I hope you enjoy this one. And I hope you do this one as well. So if you like this video, please like the video. <laughs> Literally like it. There's a button uh, that you can use to express the likability of this painting. <laughs> and share this with your friends so that they know that I exist and so that I can share my video tutorials with other people, not just you guys, my subscribers or my viewers, but also to those people who don't know that I'm here. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in my next video, guys. Happy weekend. Mm-hmm.
Love you.